Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share tonight. I wanted to show you a couple of, um, I don't know, I guess they're charms, or you know what they are? They're ornaments. Um, I took the idea of this artist trading block, and I made, a, I guess, an ornament. I'm going to use it as an ornament out of one of those large bottle caps. And I've seen this done by, her name is Sabrina Ann, I'm pretty sure, on YouTube. And I'd seen them before, and I've totally, she made them a while back, like maybe even a year ago, um, was the first time I saw them. And I just always had it in the back of my mind, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. I used the big, these are from Hobby Lobby, and you get like, I think four or five different sizes. Um, I might have, the next, no, I think I used it. Anyway, let me tell you what I did. So I just, I put paper on both sides, the back and the front, and it's, I just totally went with exactly what I did for this ATB, basically. Um, so I put a bunch of snowflakes and some bling, some pearls, um, and just, I stickle around the outside edge there. And then on the front, um, I used my Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, which I love. I really like this stuff. I know some people just swear by um, glossy accents and stuff, but I love this. And there is glitter in here. So I'm, I've been keeping it upside down because I didn't get very much glitter on here. Obviously, I mean, you can see there's not, it came out really well too. I'm very happy with how it came out. And I actually put this bling in it while it was still wet. So that was kind of cool because that was my adhesive. Um, and then after it completely dried, like this morning, I think, when I um, came down, um, I glued the pearls to the edge. So I just used my Fabri-Tac to glue that in. I colored the image with my Copics and Fussy cut her out. She's one of the um, Greeting Farm fairies. And then I just added these charms, which um, I just think it's so super pretty. Um, I put pearls and um, a little blue pearl bead there. These are those big crystal blings that you get from the Artie Cake charms when you take them apart. I've taken apart a few of them. That's I've had this in my stash. I think I have like a teardrop one and another one of these. I thought it was time to use it. Put a few flowers there, my little tiny flowers. And I just love, love, love this. I just think it turned out super cute. There's like a rose bead charm, a heart, a little flower, and of course my made with love. Oh, I just love it. I think it turned out so cute. So then, and by the way, I was inspired to do this. Like I said, I'd seen Sabrina Ann's videos, but Miss D, D's Special Things, had done a haul video, and I'm, I'm watching, and I, I think she was either gifted some of these um, large bottle caps or... Anyway, someone hooked her up with the site, and I, it's pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's called The Bottle Cap Company, and I placed an order, and I got um, four different kinds. I got some hearts. I got a couple different sizes of these in the larger sizes. I think the biggest one's like three and a half, because um, I just loved them. And like I said, when I saw Sabrina Ann's, I'd meant to do it for so long. But this is another style they have. This one's more of a flower shape. And I don't remember where I got this one. It might have been gifted me. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, look how adorable this is. For some reason, I just got the idea to make it into a sunflower. So just to use the tin as the petals to the flower. So I used my yellow Copic, one of my yellow Copics, and I colored the tin because it's silver but I made it yellow and I just cut a circle. I just traced around here and cut a circle of, this is the Nina Solar White cardstock and I stamped this little face. <coughs> it's one of my Peachy Keen stamps with Memento um, black ink. And then I colored it with my Copics and I did some shading, some really good shading and it kind of faded out once it all the dimensional magic got on there, but he had a little, like a bridge of his nose and stuff, but it's still super cute. So then when that was all dry, I put this dimensional, um, what is this, the tulip paint? I think this is copper. 
and I just kind of did that to mimic the little seeds of a sunflower, I don't know. I put a couple of buttons, a little bee button and a little ladybug, and then I added some like golden, big golden beads and um, some silver charms. And look, there's little leaves at the bottom. I just think it's so cute. These faces, the face is just adorable. So I didn't do anything to the back. But I just love how that turned out. So cute. Let me, um, I'm just going to put this, point this up and see if you can see it hanging. I think I'm a little zoomed in, you know that? So I'll go back a tiny bit. But how cute. I just love it, that face. Okay, so then I did end up doing two of the little wooden, I showed these in a haul the other night. Uh, I went back to AC Moore and they didn't have any more of these mismarked packages that were 50 cents. They were still, they all the other packages were marked right. So anyway, um, I used the Mod Podge Podgeable papers and it's called travel and I love this set if you guys have ever seen these this is just a really good one it has excellent little images in here for small things like for ATCs and stuff I did some really great ATCs with that and I don't know why I think it's because I'm moving I moved into a new craft space I just saw that and I it reminded me oh that's awesome paper so I, I don't know I just decided to do a little like kind of a matchbox size um, image thing see here so anyway this this little wooden veneer though that's one of um, the ones Mary sent me um, and I just love these charms I had this little globe charm I love so I put a red bead to play the red and then this big blue bead at the top to match that blue but I think and then I just used this world paper on the back and front and you can't see it on the front so that's that one, and then this one's pretty cool. I used one of the um, mixed media doll stamps, the Julie Nutting, and I, I've used her so much. I just love her. She's got a sweet little face and a crown. And I used, again, one of my um, Peachy Keen stamps to give her a pretty face, and it's a pageant face, and I gave her green eyes and pink lips and a little necklace, and I don't know why, I just figured, I wanted to make it sparkly. I think this dragonfly was on my tray and it inspired me with the silver and the gun metal. And so I made everything in silver. I had this gray paper, the gray polka dot paper. I had this filigree piece and I don't know. It just kind of came together that way. I think it turned out cool. And I had this, this is, I don't know where, I think I got this from your ATC store, Cosmo Cricket. I don't know, but they're really cool words. They're crafty words, a lot of them. And they're little, they're small. They're they're like the um, Tim Holtz size ones. Um, but she turned out super cute. And of course I um, I used my um, silver leafing pen on this one and my gold leafing pen on this one. And I didn't paint them, I didn't do anything. I just glued paper on and silver leafed and gold leafed. Um, so really easy that way. And I even gold leafed around travel. Um, I put a little bling heart on top here and I silver leafed around sparkle and then I just sparkled it up so they're super cute so you can see this being on one of the match boxes I mean it's just a little bit bigger and then I ended up getting these dominoes um, where the heck are they? sorry guys I don't know where anything is because okay there we go these are wooden dominoes by Art Minds, and I'm going to try a couple of these. I was thinking of making a domino book again. I've only made, I think I've made a couple now, but they're a different texture. They're different. They're wood, and they're, they're lighter than dominoes, so I don't know. I might want to play with them. I'm, like, I'm liking making the little things right now, um, but i got to uh, get the paper pads out and get working on them, too. So anyway, so that's my share for tonight. I just love this little sunflower. So cute. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.